Hello world. I'm Imagination. In this video, I'm going to talk about how this AI thrashes the hardest Atari games by memorizing its best moves. Learning from rewards seems like the simplest thing. I make coffee, I sip coffee, I'm happy. My brain registers brewing coffee as an action that leads to a reward. That's the guiding insight behind deep reinforcement learning, a family of algorithms that famously smashed most of Atari's gaming catalog and triumphed over humans in strategy games like Go. Here, an AI agent explores the game, trying out different actions and registering ones that let it win. Except it's not that simple. Brewing coffee isn't one action, it's a series of actions spanning several minutes where you're only rewarded at the very end. By just tasting the final product, how do you learn to fine-tune grind coarseness, water to coffee ratio, brewing temperature, and a gazillion other factors that result in the reward, tasty, perk me up coffee? That's the problem with sparse rewards which are ironically very abundant in our messy complex world. We don't immediately get feedback from our actions no video game style dings or points for just grinding coffee beans yet, somehow we're able to learn and perform an entire sequence of arm and hand movements while half asleep. This week, researchers from Uber AI and OpenAI teamed up to bestow this talent on AI. The trick is to encourage AI agents to return to a previous step, one that's promising for a winning solution. The agent then keeps a record of that state, reloads it, and branches out again to intentionally explore other solutions that may have been left behind on the first go-around. Video gamers are likely familiar with this idea. Live, die, reload a saved point, try something else, repeat for a perfect run-through. The new family of algorithms, appropriately dubbed Go Explore, smashed notoriously difficult Atari games like Montezuma's Revenge that were previously unsolvable by its AI predecessors while trouncing human performance along the way. It's not just games and digital fun. In a computer simulation of a robotic arm, the team found that installing Go Explore as its brain allowed it to solve a challenging series of actions when given very sparse rewards. Because the overarching idea is so simple, the authors say it can be adapted and expanded to other real-world problems, such as drug design or language learning. It also crushed games previously unbeatable by AI. Montezuma's Revenge, for example, requires you to move Pedro, the blocky protagonist, through a labyrinth of underground temples, while evading obstacles such as traps and enemies, and gathering jewels. One bad jump could derail the path to the next level. It's a perfect example of sparse rewards. You need a series of good actions to get to the reward advancing onward. Similar to the real world, the digital robot arm was only rewarded when it placed a cup onto the correct shelf, out of four possible shelves. When pitted against another algorithm, Go Explore quickly figured out the movements needed to place the cup, while its competitor struggled with even reliably picking the cup up. By itself, the first return, then explore idea behind Go Explore is already powerful. The team thinks it can do even better. One idea is to change the mechanics of save points. Rather than reloading saved states through the emulator, it's possible to train a neural network to do the same, without needing to relaunch a saved state. It's a potential way to make the AI even smarter, the team said, because it can learn to overcome one obstacle once, instead of solving the same problem again and again. The downside? It's much more computationally intensive. Another idea is to combine Go Explore with an alternative form of learning, called imitation learning. Here, an AI observes human behavior and mimics it through a series of actions. Combined with Go Explore, said study author Adrian Akoffit, this could make more robust robots capable of handling all the complexity and messiness in the real world. To the team, the implications go far beyond Go Explore. The concept of first return, then explore seems to be especially powerful, suggesting it may be a fundamental feature of learning in general. The team said, harnessing these insights may be essential to create generally intelligent agents. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.